we're examining the shooting guard position for Michigan State. Please subscribe and thanks for checking out my little itty bitty tiny YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy the video. In the 2019-2020 season, the shooting guard position for Michigan State seemed like it was in trouble due to Matt McQuay graduating and then another season-ending injury to veteran guard Josh Langford. All worries seemed to disappear when Rocket Watts stepped up as a two-way player and Aaron Henry stepping out to be more of a scorer and playmaker. This two-guard spot will return the most experience on the team. Rocket Watts returns for his sophomore year, but he'll more than likely spend a lot of time at point. Aaron Henry will head up this position and Josh Langford will be back for a fifth year to provide rotational support. Top 80 recruit AJ Hogard will also be available in certain situations, adding to their depth. Last year, Rocket Watch started at the two, but this year I believe he'll be more assisting in shooting guard duties. Uh, and he's the guy to replace Cash at that point. But in my opinion, that will be a replace by committee type of deal. Uh, he did a great job last year stepping up into this position and got better and better as the year went. As a two-way player, he may need to spend some time off the ball to conserve his energy and health. Finishing games will be most important for him when he's asked to do so much on both ends. I think the development of AJ Hogard will allow Rocket to make that move off the ball to preserve energy and limit the miles he's putting on his legs, especially in the non-conference. If everyone remains healthy, and injury free. I don't believe he'll be able to start this year, um, but I do believe AJ Hogard will have a chance at the off ball spot in certain situations. He's certainly going to be big enough at 6'3, 190. He's a big guard who can score off the ball, on the ball, it doesn't matter. He plays with good tempo and confidence, but needs a solid summer of strength and conditioning to take things to the next level and finding a way for minutes this year, despite the players ahead of him. He's another guy where I see most of his minutes coming at the point guard spot, but can also see him off the ball with Watts playing point and there's injury or foul trouble with Henry and or Langford. Josh Langford hasn't played since December 2018. When he went down with injury, he was having his best year, putting up 15 points per game, including a big game against Texas when he dropped 29 points and five rebounds in a win. When he brings dynamic shooting at two levels, shooting over 40% from three with a deadly one to two dribble mid-range jumper, he was ready to return to Michigan State's lineup for the 2019-2020 season until his foot flared up and was once again sidelined. Another year of rehab. It takes a toll on you emotionally and physically, but he was able to continue to work on his health and his game. Even if he just comes back 70 to 80% of what he was, he'll still be a great piece to the rotation and complement the point guard and wing very well. It's just a matter of if he'll have a minute restriction or if he's allowed to play full go from the get-go. Aaron Henry will be the guy to man the shooting guard role. He made the decision to return to Michigan State for his junior year after getting feedback from the NBA. He didn't shoot it as well from distance this past year and at times was a little inconsistent. I don't think it had anything to do with his ability because he's crazy talented. He was just in his own head too much at times and even Tom Izzo realized that, changing the way he was approaching Henry in games when things went a little bit sour. In order for Michigan State to get to another conference title, they need Aaron Henry to evolve and take another step into an all-conference type of player. His assist to turnover ratio has to get better, and that's because he'll have to help in replacing Cassius along with Rocket Watts. Being an aggressive playmaker, shooting a bit better from distance despite having a higher usage, but playing under control and picking his spots. As I said before, the shooting guard spot returns the most experience and has solid depth. Whether there's an injury or foul trouble, they'll still be able to plug a viable option in the slot. Dan Dockage Can't guard me